Yesterday, we talked about Land Cruiser and the reintroduction here in the North American market. Now, this is the 250 based off the Prado, very much like the Lexus GX and pretty much everything except powertrains and maybe some design. And today, we're going to go a little bit more into the rear end of the design, maybe some other things as well, because there are a lot more images going around as well as teasers from Toyota other than that single image that they showed on just one one page or web page yesterday. So if you're excited for the Land Cruiser, smash the heck out of the like button. I'll be heading out of state to reveal this vehicle for you, the reintroduction of the Land Cruiser August 1st. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon for my walk around and introduction of the Land Cruiser. Let's get into it. Let's get into their Instagram real quick because here we have them showing off the back end. And this is actually the first video evidence that I'm aware of, of the new Land Cruiser Prado. Uh, it'll just be called Land Cruiser in the United States, but Prado is what they call it in South, South Africa, Australia, et cetera, and other markets. But here we go. We have a black Toyota bar here. And unlike the Lexus GX, it does not have a light bar that goes across. I didn't expect that because it's not not typical of any Toyotas. Like the new GX and unlike the current Prado, we don't have a door that opens up like a refrigerator. This is a traditional hatch like a crossover minivan like the new Land Cruiser 300 series. However, just like the new GX 550 with this little button here, you can flip up the glass exclusively. And it's almost like with this little line right here, it looks like a, a little nostalgic nod to maybe some split tailgates and the, the history of the Land Cruiser, but this will just be one large lift gate here. We also have our first look at the rear taillights uh, next to the Land Cruiser badge that is blacked out. Then they just say the date here. So I'll let this play in real time so you guys can get appreciate it out in the wilderness, tents around, and uh, yes, we got that, which what looks like cavalry blue. So aside from that, we have some other teaser images. We have a triple beam LED headlight setup similar to what we see on the Land Cruiser 300 series. And then we kind of have like this honeycomb pattern underneath, which we saw that on yesterday's teaser. And you can see how wide the fenders here are. They shouldn't be any different from the width that we see on the Lexus GX 550. A little lightning going on here. I think that's an, uh, an illusion, if I'm using that word correctly, to uh, the hybridization of this vehicle. I believe it will be hybridized. I don't know if that's the only powertrain we're getting for our market, but it should be the 2.4 liter hybrid max that we see in the upcoming uh, Tacoma as well. Just for reference, we see this in the upcoming Tacoma. Uh, and we could see it in the, in the upcoming 4Runner as well, but 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Now for the transmission, it could be the 8-speed like we'll see in the upcoming Tacoma. It could also be the 10-speed. The Lexus GX is using a 10-speed, but that's on the Twin Turbo V6. We don't know what we'll see exactly with this hybrid setup. It's either going to be an 8 or a 10-speed. The A-pillar here, very upright and thin, just like the Lexus GX. And we have a little bar here to separate the roof. And we have those square mirrors, just like we have on on the Lexus GX, we have the, essentially the same design on fenders. You might have a slightly different designed uh, front hood, but we'll see. I would like to see a hood scoop, but I don't know if we'll see that. On the back, we also have this little render here of the rear tail lights, which are identical to the rear tail lights we saw in that video a second ago on their Instagram page. Uh, this confirms that this little square at the bottom is fog light, so that's great to see. And then this will be a uh, black clad in here at the bottom, and then this will be paint matched on this front bumper section. And this is one of the more fun images here. Here we have auto brake hold, which is great to have on a, on a large vehicle that have produces a lot of torque. But if it's a hybrid, it won't be pulling you from a stop when the engine is off. So that's kind of nice. But it's always nice to have this auto brake hold on very torque heavy vehicles so you don't have to mash the brake at every stop. Anyways, what the big takeaway from this is drive select four high, four low uh, switch here. Now, four high. F means the differential is open. Four high L means locked. So the center differential is locked. So it's sending equal power to all four wheels. And then you have low four locked center differential for extreme off-roading, really low speed, low traction maneuvers. 99% of the time people will be driving around and four high with the open diff. Now we have confirmation here of a rear locking differential. Now this setup is slightly different than what we see in the Lexus GX. Now, obviously the auto brake hold and the electric parking sensor are in the same spot, but we have a leather cladding or a leatherette cladding around the shifter here, where on the Toyota, it looks like that we just have a plastic silver trim. The switch is also a different design here, different materials. You can see you have silver on the outside on the Toyota instead of the little silver slot in the middle of this switch here. And even the surrounding is quite different. And now in the Lexus, you just have 
high four and low four. And then you have the option on the right to lock the center differential. And then below that, you have the rear locking differential button. I actually prefer this setup. I think it's a little bit more simple, more intuitive to most people as well, compared to what we will have on the new Land Cruiser. It makes you wonder with Toyota leaving some buttons here, will there be options in the future for a front locker? I think that is logical. Maybe we can hope for a, a GR Sport or something like that, or some extreme off-roading variant that will have a front locker as well. I think they left these buttons open for a reason here on the Land Cruiser and didn't offer it on the Lexus GX. And the last thing I wanted to go over is actually a render from uh, this. I think he's a Russian artist who comes up with uh, designs for upcoming vehicles. And what he did here with the Land Cruiser is pretty cool. So he took these images of the Lexus GX, changed the color, and superimposed the front end of what he's expecting based off the teasers that we got of the Land Cruiser. And this is pretty spot on here, guys. I think this is very accurate. Not 100% because we don't know exactly what the bottom of the bumper is going to look like. We don't know exactly what the front of the skid plate area is going to look like either at this point. But this is going to be probably the most accurate thing I've seen yet. And we also don't know exactly what the hood is going to look like. It could have a hood scoop, which I'm, I really want. I really want that here uh, as an homage to previous Land Cruisers and the FJ Cruiser, of course. But here you have it. I think this is really accurate. We know 100% that we have fog lights in the corner now. We know the, how this is going to be differentiated with these pieces, with the colorings, black on the front, skid plate at the bottom, paint match below the, the triple beam headlights. And then we also know what the rear looks like based off the Instagram video that Toyota shared with us. This is about as accurate as accurate can get. I would say at this point, we're just a few days away, August 1st. Make sure you're subscribed because I'll be sharing with you guys on the channel when I head out of state for the reveal of the Land Cruiser, August 1st, August 2nd, if you're on uh, the other part of the world, but August 1st, stay tuned, hit the bell icon so you don't miss my official reveal and walk around of the new Land Cruiser. Cannot wait. In the meantime, snack on my walk around of the Lexus GX with this overtrail option, as well as the premium model uh, that I saw in Austin, Texas. But I got to shut it down there. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the heck out of that like button if you're excited for the Land Cruiser and have a great day. Peace. <music>